Okay, for step one, we're going to represent uh, or let x the charge for the success charge per succeeding kilometer. And then for let y equals the total cost. Next step two, going to make a table of values. Okay, yung x natin, ito yung charge per, si, per succeeding kilometers. And then yung y, yung total cost. So, di ba sabi, dun sa charge per succeeding kilometer, kung 10 kilometers ka, ang babayaran mo una ay 20. And then, kapag ka, syempre, nadagdagan na siya, naging 11 na siya, dun sa 20, magdadagdag ka ng 3 pesos, kaya naging 23. Then, kung 12 kilometers na, Magiging 26 yung total cost. And then, 13 kilometers, 29. And so on. So, yan lang muna. Next, for step 3. Okay, letter A. So, find the slope using two points. So, saan manggagaling yung two points na gagamitin natin para makuha yung slope? So, punta tayo dito sa table na ginawa natin. So, di ba may x and y tayo? So, kuha tayo dyan ng two points kay talent. So, ang gagamitin ko ay yung 10, eh, 20, tsaka 11, 23. Okay, so, ito ngayon yung magiging x sub 1 natin, y sub 1 x sub 2 and then y sub 2. Then, using the formula for slope, we have m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Then, substitute natin 23 minus 20 over 11 minus 10. 23 minus 20 is 3. 11 minus 10 is 1. So, 3 divided by 1 is equal to 3. So, ito ngayon yung slope natin. Next, pag nakuha na natin yung slope, kunin naman natin yung y-intercept. So, solve for y-intercept. Ang gagamitin naman natin is using the slope and one point. So, dahil meron na tayong slope, m, yun yung 3, kuha tayo na isang point, gamitin ulit natin yung 10 and 20. So, ito yung magiging x natin, ito yung y. And then, yung gagamitin natin na equation is y equals mx plus b. Substitute lang natin yung y natin is 20, m natin is 3, yung x natin ay 10 plus b. Then, after that, susunod natin is isasolve na natin. So, 20 is equal to 3 times 10 is 30 plus B. Ilipat natin yung 30 sa kabila, sa tabi ng 20. Kaya magiging negative 30 plus 20 equals B. So, negative 30 plus 20 is negative 10 equals B. So, ito na yung y-intercept natin. Now, for the step 4, for step 4, ito tayo. For step 4, we're going to make the equation now. Make the equation. So, ang m natin ay 3 at ang y-intercept natin ay negative 10. So, using... The slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. 
Substitute lang natin. Y is equal to 3x minus 10. And then, we're not going to solve. O, so, substitute na natin. The question is, kung ilan yung total cost kapag ka 25 kilometers yung um, ride mo. So, y is equal to 3x minus 10. y is equal to 3 times yung 25 kilometer minus 10. y is equal to 3 times 25, that is 75 minus 10. y is equal to 75 minus 10, the answer is... 65. Therefore, the cost of 25 kilometer ride is 65 pesos. So, that is the answer. So, ganyan yung gagawin nyo din sa activity 2. How much should be paid? So, yung question 1 and 2, masasagot na siya kapag ka sinold nyo na siya ng ganito, ng sunod-sunod. Step 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So, yun yung gagawin sa activity to how much should be paid. And then after that, sasagutan nyo din yung assessment sa page 14 to 16. So, I hope walang questions sa module 13. Now, let's proceed to module 14, illustrating systems of linear equations in two variables. Okay, so a system of linear equations in two variables is a set of two or more linear equations that have a variables in common. Kapag ka nakakita kayo ng may brace sa left side at meron tayong mga linear equation, so yun ay isang example ng system of linear equations in two variables. Where all A's and B's cannot be zero. Kasi kapag naging zero na yung A at saka B, hindi na magiging linear equation. So, wala ng system of linear equation. Then, meron tayong tinatawag na solution of systems of linear equations in two variables. So, this is an ordered pair, x, y, that satisfies both equations. Ibig sabihin, ito yung ordered pair na kapag sinamstitute mo dun sa dalawang linear equation or dun sa systems of linear equations, ay nagsasatisfy siya. Ibig sabihin, nag-i-equal siya dun sa given. So, para mas maintindihan nyo yung tinatawag na solution, let's have an example from the activity 1 on page 11, pick me. So, determine which of the following ordered pairs would satisfy the given system of linear equation in two variables. So, isa-isahin natin siya. Okay, so, yung isosolve natin is... Um, Number 1, the given is x plus 2y equals 5 and 3x plus y equals 5. So, try muna natin yung una which is 1 and 1, 2. So, isa-substitute natin yung 1, 2, dun muna sa unang equation, x plus 2y equals 5. Papalitan lang yung x at saka yung y. So, yung x natin ay 1 plus 2 times 2 equals 5. And then, saka natin siya isosolve. 1 plus 2 times 2, that is 4, equals 5. 1 plus 4, 5 equals 5. So, nag-equal siya. Kapag nag-equal siya, kailangan dun sa isa pang equation mag-equal din siya. So, yung isang equation natin is 3x plus y equals 5. 3 times 1 plus 2 equals 
5. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 equals 5. 3 plus 2, that is 5, equals 2, equal to 5. So, equal din siya. Kapag parehas dun sa dalawang equation ng equal yung ordered pair, ito nga yung tinatawag natin na solution. Okay, next, another. So, check natin how about yung 0, 2. So, ang given naman natin is 0, 2. Dito na lang sa baba. 0, 2. Again, same procedure, x plus 2y equals 5. Ito yung unang equation. 0 plus 2 times 2 equals 5. So, ito, 0 plus 2 times 2, 4 equals 5. 0 plus 4. 4 is not equal to 5. Kapag ka sa unang equation pa lang, pag sinabstitute mo, hindi na siya nag-equal. Huwag mo na siyang isubstitute dun pa sa isang equation kasi automatic hindi siya nag-equal, not solution na siya. Okay, next, let's try negative 1, 3. Ito tayo sa kabila naman. Negative 1, 3. Okay, so x plus 2y equals 5. Negative 1 naman yung x natin dito. Ang ating y ay 3 equals 5. Negative 1 plus 2 times 3, that is 6, equals 5. Negative 1 plus 6, that is 5, equals 5. So, check siya. Now, kailangan mag-equal din siya dun sa isa. 3x plus y equals 5. 3 times negative 1 plus 3 equals 5. Negative 3 plus 3 equals 5. Negative 3 plus 3 is 0 not equal to 5. Dahil hindi nag-equal dun sa isa, not solution. And yung last natin na given ay 3, 1. So, resolve natin 3, 1. x plus 2y equals 5. Ang x natin dito ay 3. Ang y natin ay 1. 3 plus 2 equals 5. 3 plus 2, 5 equals 5. So, check. Then, dun sa isa kaya. 3x plus y equals 5. 3 times 3 plus yung y natin, a1 equals 5. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 equals 5. 9 plus 1, that is 10, not equal to 5. Dahil hindi nag-equal, this is also not solution. So, ganyan yung gagawin nyo dun sa iba pa. So, sa 2, 3, 4, and 5. You're going to show your solution. Okay, next, we have the kinds of systems of linear equations. So, tatlo to. The first one is consistent and independent. This is a equations having exactly one solution. The slopes of the lines defined by the equations are not equal. Their y-intercept could be equal or unequal. So, dito, paano natin malalaman kung consistent and independent siya? So, by looking at the slopes at saka y-intercept. Kapag daw ang slope natin ay not equal, at yung y-intercept natin, pwede siyang equal or unequal. So, ang titignan mo lang dito is yung pinaka-slope. Pag not equal siya, yung ating system of linear equation ay consistent and independent. Now, how do we find the slope? So, gagamitin natin yung slope-intercept form, which is y equal mx plus b. So, di ba ang m natin, this is the slope. And yung b natin, this is the y-intercept. Okay, now let's have an example. So, we have here x plus y equals 5 and then x minus y equals 1. So, unayin natin yung x plus y equals 5. x plus y equals 5. Rewrite natin in slope-intercept form. May iwan yung y dito. 
yung x dilipat sa kabila magiging negative x plus 5. And then, identify mo lang kung ano yung m at yung y-intercept. Dito ang m natin or slope natin is negative 1 kasi yun yung number na katabi ng x. And then, yung b natin is 5. Yun yung nasa dulo. Next, yun namang x minus y equals 1. May iwan yung negative y. Yung x lipat sa kabila magiging negative x plus 1. So, dahil bawal yung may negative sa may y, ang gagawin natin is i-divide natin sa negative 1. Cancel. So, y is equals to negative 1 x or negative x divided by negative 1 that is positive x And then, positive 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1. So, identify natin yung m natin, that is positive 1, and yung b natin ay negative 1. So, pag tinignan natin, pag tinignan nyo siya, kitang-kita naman, yung m dun sa kabila ay negative 1, dun sa isang equation ay 1, not equal. And then, yung b natin or y-intercept, not equal din siya. So, kapag ka ganyan yung nakuha mong slope at y-intercept, ang iyong system of linear equation ay consistent and independent. So, ang una mo lang pinakatitignan, yung slope natin ay not equal. Okay, next. Yung second na kind ng system of linear equation is yung tinatawag naman natin na consistent and dependent. So, this is a system of linear equations having infinitely many solutions. The slopes of the line defined by the equations are equal. And their y-intercept are also equal. So, ito yung kabaliktara ng consistent and independent. So, dito equal parehas yung slope natin at yung y-intercept. So, same procedure tayo. So, let's solve this. We have 3x plus 2y equals 6 and 6x plus 4y equals 12. So, unahin natin yung 3x plus 2y equals 6. May iwan yung 2y, lilipat si 3x, magiging negative 3x plus 6. Divide by 2. Cancel y is equal to negative 3 over 2 x plus 6 divided by 2 that is 3. So, dito ang m natin ay negative 3 over 2 at ang b naman natin ay positive 3. Now, the other one, 6x plus 4y equals 12. May iwan ang 4y, lilipat si 6x, magiging negative 6x plus 12. Divide natin sa 4. Cancel, y is equals to, ang lowest term ng negative 6 at saka 4 ay negative 3 over 2. Plus, oops, yung x natin, 12 divided by 4, that is 3. So, ang m natin, our slope is negative 3 over 2, and ang ating b ay 3. Okay, kitang-kita, they are equal. Kapag ka-equal, yung slope, equal ang y-intercept, the kind of system is consistent and dependent. Next, yung last natin na kinds ng system of linear equations, ay yung tinatawag natin na inconsistent. So, this is a system of linear equations having no solutions. So, the slopes of the line, so dito naman ang slope natin ay equal. But, their y-intercept are not equal. So, equal pa rin yung slope pero yung y-intercept natin ang hindi na equal. Okay, let's have an example. 2x minus y equals 5 and 2x minus y equals 3. So, doon muna tayo sa 2x minus y equals 5. May 1 ang negative y. Nilipat si 2, magiging negative 2x plus 
5. Dahil negative ang y, divide natin lahat sa negative 1. Cancel. y is equals to negative 2 divided by negative 1 is positive 2. x, 5 divided by negative 1 is negative 5. So, dito ang m natin ay 2 at ang y-intercept natin ay negative 5. Doon naman sa isa, 2x minus y equals 3. Maiwan ng negative y, lilipat si 2x, magiging negative 2x plus 3. Divide by negative 1, cancel y is equals to positive 2x minus 3. Ang m natin dito ay 2 at ang ating b ay negative 3. Kung makikita nyo, equal yung slope natin, pero yung ating y-intercept ay not equal. Kapag kaganyan, ang ating kind of system sa winner equation ay inconsistent. So, ganyan yung gagawin nyo sa activity 2 on page 12. So, using the slope and y-intercept, tell whether the system of equations are consistent and independent, consistent and dependent, or inconsistent. So, you're going to show your solution. Kamo anong ginama ko for number 1, 2, and 3. And then, for what I have learned, complete me on page 13. So, you're going to supply the correct term to complete the statement. And you're going to answer also the assessment on pages 14 to 15. Okay, I hope you don't have any more questions for module 14. Now, let's proceed to module 15, graphing systems of linear equations in two variables. Ito lang yung pinaka dapat yung tandaan sa module na to. So, we have different lines in graphing System of linear equations. So, meron tayong intersecting. Ito yung itsura ng graph nun. And then, we have coinciding. Isa lang siya kung titignan mo. Pero, dalawa talaga yan. Magkapatong. And then, yung parallel natin, dalawang lines na magkatapat lang. Ngayon, kapag ka-intersecting ang lines mo, ito yung mga dapat mong tandaan. Meron tayong different slopes. Consistent and independent yung ating kinds ng system, at meron siyang number of solutions na exactly one. Yung solution na sinasabi na yun, iyon ay kung saan nag-meet yung dalawang lines, yung intersection ng dalawang lines. So, yan lang yung solution nun, kapag ka-intersecting. Now, kapag ka-coinciding naman, meron tayong same slopes, same y-intercept, uh, the kinds of system is consistent and dependent, and the number of solution is infinitely many. Kasi, dahil yung lines natin magkapatong, so lahat ng points dyan, at marami yan dahil nag extend pa to, yun lahat ay solutions nung dalawang equations natin or yung system of linear equation. Next is yung parallel. Meron tayong same slopes and different y-intercept. Ang kinds ng system ay inconsistent at wala tayong number of solution kasi hindi nga sila nag-meet. So, wala silang common point. Ibig sabihin, wala silang solutions or same solution, number of solutions. Okay, now, uh, for your activity in this module, so on page 16, you're going to show your solutions again. You're going to answer activity 1 equal or not. The direction is identify the slope and y-intercept of each system of linear equation. Write the symbol equal if they have the same value of slopes and y-intercepts and the symbol not equal if they don't have the same value of slopes and y-intercepts. So, ito, kamukha lang to nung ginawa ko kanina. Yung examples ko kanina, ito, uh, uh, this one. So, dito, ang isusulat nyo lang ay... Yung solution, tapos yung M ilalagay nyo doon sa tabi. Dito. Dito sa kabilang side, tapos dito sa kabilang side. Tapos lalagay nyo ngayon kung equal or not equal. So, sasagutan nyo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then, dito naman sa page 16 ulit, sa activity 2, I can do it. You're going to show your solutions again. Paano naman ang gagawin? 
you're going to examine each system and tell whether the graphs are intersecting, parallel, and coinciding. So, dito, ipapakita nyo yung solution. Tapos, isusulat nyo dito kung anong klase yung graph niya. Kung intersecting ba, parallel, or coinciding. So, example ko yung number 3. Or number 4 na lang kasi ito ay, hindi uh, gaya, number 3 na lang. Number 3. So, that is x plus y equals 6. And then, 2x plus y equals 4. So, kamukha lang nung ginagawa natin kanina. So, i-rewrite mo lang siya as y equals mx plus b. So, yung una is x plus y equals 6. Maiwan ng y. Lipat si x, magiging negative x plus 6. So, dito ang m natin ay negative 1. Ang b natin ay 6. Then, the other one, 2x plus y equals 4. Maiwan si y. Si 2x lilipat, magiging negative 2x plus 4. Ang m natin dito ay negative 2. At ang B naman natin ay 4. Okay, so yung M natin ay magkaiba, not equal. Yung ating Y-intercept, not equal din. So kapag ka not equal, not equal, o balik ka dito sa may table, kapag ka ang slope natin ay magkaiba, ibig sabihin, ang line natin ay intersecting. So sa number 3, ilalagay mo lang dito ay intersecting line. So, ganyan yung gagawin nyo sa 1, 2, 4, and 5. Next is for activity 3, let's, let's examine page 17. So, you're going to graph each system of equations and state whether the system is consistent and dependent, consistent and independent, or in, inconsistent using slope-intercept method. So, gagamit kayo ng graphing paper para makagawa kayo ng partition plane. So, example ko yung number 2. So, we have x plus 3y equals 4 and x plus 2y equals 3. Okay. So, dito, kung titignan nyo, iayos muna natin siya into... Ay, number 3 na lang example ko. Number 3. 3x plus y equals 1 at saka 2x minus y equals negative 6. Parang mas mahirap to. Okay, so doon muna tayo sa 3x plus y equals 1. So, y is equals to negative 3x plus 1. Ang m natin dito ay negative 3. At ang B natin ay 1. And then, yung isa, 2x minus y equals negative 6. Negative y equals negative 2x minus 6. Divide by negative 1. Y is equals to positive 2x plus 6. Ang M natin ay 2 at ang B natin ay 6. So, we're now going to use this yung slope tsaka y-intercept para ma-plot natin yung points or mag-graph. So, unahin natin yung uh, m equals negative 3 and b equals 1. Yung b, ito yung una natin ipa-plot kasi y-intercept siya. Ibig sabihin, nandito lang siya lagi. Yung unang point laging nasa y-axis lang. So, dahil ito ay 1, so plot natin dito yung 1. Dito siya. And then, yung slope natin ay negative 3. So, Aakya tayo ng 3, so 1, 2, 3, at negative siya, kaya sa left side tayo. Dahil wala tayong number sa denominator or wala tayong nakikitang number sa ibaba, automatic 1 lang yon So 1, 2, 3, then 1 sa left. So ito na ngayon yung una nating line. Ano yung 
so mark to yan Okay, next. Yung isa naman ay 6. So, dahil walang 6 dito, so, ito yung China natin. Nandito yung 6. Ito yung 6. So, ang slope natin ay 2. So, akyat tayo ng dalawa. 1, 2. Dahil positive siya at wala rin number sa denominator, that is 1. So, sa right ka ngayon magraran dahil positive. So, 1, 2, then sa isa sa right. Okay, then you're going to use circular and then you're going to connect the two points. Yan. And then put an arrow head. So, kung makikita nyo, yung line natin ay, lines natin ay intersecting line. So, kapag intersecting line, ang ating kinds ng system ay consistent and independent. So, ganyan yung gagawin nyo sa number 1, 2, 4, and 5. So, isosolve nyo muna. Isosolve nyo muna siya. Kapag ka na-solve nyo na, tsaka nyo siya ngayon ipa-plot. So, yan. Yung sa number 3. Okay, next is dito tayo sa what I have learned on page 18. Complete me. Complete the graphic organizer below to summarize what you learned on how to graph systems of linear equations into Barnabas. So, ang gagawin nyo, kukopyahin nyo tong graphic organizer. And then, ikukopyahin nyo to. Yan, yung how do you solve. Tapos, step 1. So, ibibigay ko na yung mga step 2, 3, 4, 5. Ang papakita nyo ngayon is yung pinaka-solution. Okay, for step 2, eto na siya. Transform the equation into slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. So, ito'y susulat nyo sa step 2, tapos papakita nyo ngayon paano tinatransform in y equals mx plus b. etong given natin na nasa step 1. And then, for step 3, you're going to identify the slope and y-intercept. So, ano ba yung uh, slope at y-intercept nung dalawang equation? Then, for step 4, graph each equation. So, nag-graph na kayo using the slope and y-intercept of both equations. So, dahil nakuha nyo na yung slope-intercept form nyo kanina, nakuha nyo na yung slope tsaka y-intercept sa step 3, yung graph na lang ipapakita nyo sa step 4. And then, sa step 5, i-identify nyo kung merong point of intersection and test whether it satisfies both equations. So, dito, ipapakita nyo lang kung ano yung point of intersection. Okay, next. And then, yung assessment sa pages 20 to 23, sasagutan din. Okay, last module. For module 16, solving systems of linear equations in two variables. So, meron tayong dalawang paraan sa pag-solve ng linear equations in two variables bukod sa pag-graph. Mayroon tayong tinatawag na substitutions and elimination. So, hindi ko na-explain yung meaning. Pakita ko na lang kung paano ginagawa. Okay, so what's more on page 19 ng module 16? You're going to answer activity 1, substitute. So, show your solution and then i-check mo pa yung solution. Ito ay, you're going to solve each system of equations by substitution. So, yung number 1 is madali siya, kaya hindi yan yung example ko. Dito tayo sa number 3, kasi ito medyo mahirap yung number 3. Okay, ilitan ko muna. Kukopin yung key given. The given is y minus x equals 3x plus 2 and then 2x plus 2y equals 14 minus y. Okay. So, this is the given. 
Okay, ang unang gagawin natin, iaayos natin yung equation 1. Ito yung equation 1 natin. And this is the equation 2. So, doon tayo sa equation 1. Yung y minus x equals 3x plus 2. So, yung negative x, ilipat natin sa kabila. Iwan natin dito yung y. So, we have 3x plus x plus 2. Y is equal to 3x plus 4x, that is 4x plus 2. Yung sinasabing substitution, ito yung meron ng naka-isolate na x or y. Tapos yun yung ipapalit mo dun sa isang equation, isa substitute mo. So yung equation 2, iayos din natin siya. Kasi hindi siya nakaayos. So we have there 2x plus 2y equals 14 minus y. 2x plus 2y, itong negative y lipat natin, magiging positive y equals 14. Then, 2x plus 2y plus y, that is 3y equals 14. Okay, now, itong y natin, ito, ipapalit natin yan dito sa y ng equation 2. So, kunin ko yung 2x plus 3y equals 14. And then, papalitan ko yung y na 4x plus 2 equals 14. And then, saka ko siya isosolve. 2x plus, substitute di distribute That is 12x plus 6 equals 14. 2x plus 12x, that is 14x. Yung 6, ililipat ko siya sa kabila, magiging minus 6. So, 14x is equals to 14 minus 6, that is 8. Divide ko siya sa 14. x is equals to lowest term ng 8 at saka 14, pwede siyang divide sa 2, that is 4 over 7. So, ito yung value ng x natin. Ngayon, kukunin natin yung values ng y. Ang gagamitin na natin is itong nasa equation 1. So, that is y is equal to 4x plus 2. Ang papalitan naman natin ngayon dito ay yung x. Ang ipapalit natin is yung 4 over 7 na nakuha natin. Plus 2. y is equal to 4 times 4, that is 16 over 7 plus 2. So, solve pa natin siya. That is 7, y is equals to 7 divided by 7, that is 1, time is 16, is 16. 7 divided by, ito ang ilalim nito ay 1. So, 7 divided by 1 is 7, time is 2, that is 14. And then, 16 plus 14, that is 30 over 7. So, wala tayong, wala silang common factor, kaya ito na yan, wala ng lowest term. So, ayan yung ating x and y. After nyan, hindi pa yan yung final natin, we're going to check pa. Kasi ayan, nakalagay, check your solution. So, ang ating pinakasagot ngayon ay 4 over 7. Dahil yun yung x natin, una yung x, then y natin is 30 over 7. So, ito yung pinakasagot. Ngayon, dun tayo sa checking. Paano tayo mag-checking? Sa checking, you're going to use the original equation. So, yung y minus x. Ayan. Checking tayo. Dun tayo muna sa y minus x equals 3x plus to ang ipapalit natin is 4 over 7 at saka 30 over 7. Kailangan mag-equal yan. Okay. So, ang y natin ay 30 over 7. Minus, ang x natin ay 4 over 7. Equals sa 3 
times 4 over 7 plus 2. Pag hindi nag-equal, mali ang sagot. 30 minus 4, dahil similar uh, denominator siya, 30 minus 4, that is 26 over 7 equals 3 times 4, that is 12 over 7 plus 2. Kailangan mag-equal ka. So, denominator natin is 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1 times 12. That is 12. 7 divided by 1 is 7 times 2. That is 14. Copy 26 over 7. Twelve plus fourteen that is twenty six over seven. Yay! Equal siya. Dun sa isa. Ngayon kailangan equal din siya dun sa isang equation. Yung two x plus two y equals fourteen minus y. So two times four over seven. Two times 4 over 7 plus 2 times 30 over 7 equals 14 minus 30 over 7. So, 2 times 4, that is 8 over 7 plus 2 times 30, that is 60 over 7 is equals to, ito ay magiging 7, 7 divided by 1 is 7, 7 times 14, the answer is 98. Minus 7 divided by 7 is 1 times 30, that is 30. 8 plus 60, that is 68. Over 7 is equals to 98 minus 30. The answer is 68 over 7. And they are equal. So, ibig sabihin, tama yung sagot na 4 over 7 and 30 over 7. So, ganyan yung pagsasubstitute. Medyo mahaba siya talaga. Kasi may checking pa. So, ang sasagutan nyo is yung number 1 tsaka number 2. So, dito sa number 1, Ang isa-substitute nyo dito sa equation 2 is yung y equals 2x. So, yung y na to papalitan nyo siya ng 2x. Then, dito naman sa number 2, yung x ang papalitan nyo ng negative 1 half y. Okay. Now, dito tayo sa elimination. Okay. Activity 2, page 19 to 20, show your solution. Uh, identify the terms that can be eliminated. If elimination by addition or sub subtraction cannot be directly performed, state first the number of or numbers that should be multiplied to one or both equations. So, may ito na may example tayo. And then, check your solution. So, show your solution ulit to. Ngayon, ang bonus ko dito is, ibinigay ko na kung ano yung unang step na gagawin nyo. So, pag nag eliminate tayo, ang ini-eliminate natin is yung magkamukha ng variables, magkamukha ng number, pero magkaiba ng sign. So, dito sa number 1, automatic, eliminate kagad yung y natin, tsaka negative y. So, sasagutan ko na yung number 1, that is x plus y equals negative 1, and then x minus y equals 3. So, ito ay eliminate na siya. And then, you're going to proceed to addition. x plus x, that is 2x, equals negative 1 plus 3, that is positive 2. Then, divide mo siya by 2 para makuha mo yung value na x. So, 2 divided by 2, that is 1. So, meron na tayong values ng x. Now, substitute natin siya dun sa equation 1. Ito yung equation 1. Ito yung equation 2. So, x plus y equals negative 1. Ang x natin ay 1 plus y equals negative 1. 
y equals negative 1. Nilipat mo yung 1, magiging negative 1. y is equal to negative 2. So, ang ating sagot ay 1, negative 2. Ito yung pinakasagot natin. Next is, we're going to check. Okay, using the first equation, so x plus y equals negative 1. Ang ipapalit natin ay 1 and negative 2. So, 1 plus negative 2 is equal to negative 1. 1 plus negative 2, that is negative 1, equals to negative 1. Check. Then, doon naman sa isa, x minus y equals 3. So, 1 minus negative 2 equals 3. So, 1, plus, 1 minus negative 2, that is 1 plus 2 mangyayari dito. Kasi negative times negative is positive equals 3. 1 plus 2, 3 equals 3. So, check. Ibig sabihin, tama yung 1 and negative 2. Ngayon, paano kung yung given natin ay wala kang ma-eliminate agad? Walang magkamuka. Ngayon, gagawan mo siya ng magkamuka. So, kung titingnan mo dito sa number 2, may nakalagay dito, multiply equation 1 by negative 1. Then, eliminate negative x at saka yung x. So, itong equation 1 mo, imumultiply mo muna yan lahat sa negative 1. Tapos, magiging mangyayari niyan, ikakapin mo yung equation 2. Tsaka palang makikita na magkamukha yung x pero magiging magkaiba na yung sign nila. Kasi, minultiply mo na yung equation 1 sa negative 1. Sa number 3 naman, ang imumultiply mo ay yung equation 1, imumultiply mo by 2. And then, eliminate mo yung 2y and negative 2y. And then sa number 4, multiply equation 2 by 2, then eliminate 4y and negative 4y. Ngayon, isosod ko pa yung number 4 para mas maintindihan nyo yung sinasabi ko. Okay, so sa number 4, ang given natin is 4x plus 4y equals 6. And then 5x minus 2y equals 4. Dito, ang sabi, imumultiply mo. Ito yung equation 1 natin, na Equation 1, ito yung equation 2. So, multiply equation 2 by 2. So, ito, mumultiply natin to by 2. Yan. So, ito, didistribute mo ngayon doon. Okay. So, ito, kopyahin mo lang siya ulit. 4x plus 4y equals... 6. And then, ito magiging uh, 10x minus 4y equals 8. Ayan. So, meron na tayong magkamuka. Yung 4y makakancel na. Then, addition tayo. 4 plus 10, that is 14x equals uh, 8. 6 plus 8, that is 14. Divided by 14 ang x natin ay equal sa 1. Then, substitute natin to dun sa una ding equation. So, 4x plus 4y equal 6. Yung x natin, palitan natin ng 1 plus 4y equal 6. So, 4 plus 4y equal 6. 4y is equal to yung 6. etong 4 lilipat sa kabila, minus... 4. 4y is equal to 6 minus 4, that is 2, divided by 4. Ang y natin ay 1 half. So, ang final answer natin is 1 and 1 half. Ngayon, i-check natin kung tama ba yung sagot natin. Checking. So, we have 1 and 1 half. So, we have 4x plus 4y equals 6. 4 times 1 plus 4 times 1 half equals 6. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 4 times 1 is 4 divided by 2. That is 2 is equals to 6. 4 plus 2 is 6 equals 6. Check. Then, dun sa isa, 
we have 5x minus 2y equals 4. 5 times 1 minus 2 times 1 half equals 4. 5 times 1 is 5. Negative 2. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 divided by 2. That is negative 1 equals 4. 5 minus 1, that is 4 equals 4. So, check. So, ganyan yung gagawin nyo dun sa natirang number 2 and number 3. So, yan yung sagot. Yan. Okay, next is dito tayo sa Activity 3, page 20, am I consistent or inconsistent? So, direction solve each system of equations by substitution or elimination. Determine whether the system is consistent and independent, consistent and dependent or inconsistent. So, dito, ang ituturo ko lang sa inyo is kung, kung ano yung gagamitin nyo na pagsosolve sa system. Kasi nakapagbigay na ako ng example. So, dito sa number 1, ang gamitin nyo is elimination. Sa number 2, elimination din. And sa number 3, ang gamitin nyo is substitution. Okay. So, solve nyo siya. Kailangan show your solution. Now, let's proceed to the last part, which is solving problems involving systems of linear equations in two variables. So, kamukha ng mga nauna kanina ulit, meron na namang tayong steps. So, understand the problem, develop a plan, carry out the plan, and looking back. Okay, let's have an example for this. In activity 4, following protocols, page 20, module 16, Solve the problem below by illustrating the process of finding solution. Write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Okay, the problem is Matt and Dean are selling fruit for a school fundraiser. Customers can buy small and large boxes of oranges. Matt sells 3 small boxes and 14 large boxes of oranges for a total of 203 pesos. Ming sells 11 small boxes of oranges and 11 large boxes of oranges for a total of 220 pesos. Find the cost of a small box and large box of oranges. Okay, so dito is we're going to complete. So for step 1, let x natin is yung small box. And yung y natin is the larger or the large box. And then for the equation natin, we have 3x plus 14y equals 203. So, ito yung kay Matt. And then, kay Ming naman, we have 11x plus 11y equals 220. Okay, next... So, step 3 natin, hindi kakasya doon. So, write ko na lang dito for step 3. So, meron na tayong dalawang equation. Yung 3x plus 14y equals 203. At saka yung 11x plus 11y equals 220. So, kung titignan nyo, wala tayong ma-eliminate. Kaya, i-multiply natin tong equation 1 sa negative 11, at yung equation 2 naman, i-multiply natin by 3. So, ito ang equation 1 natin, ito ang equation 2. So, distribute lang natin siya, ito lang siya lahat. Tapos ito, yan. Okay, so pagka naging ganyan na yan, ito na yung equation 1, magiging negative 33x, Minus 154y is equal to negative 2,233. Ito na ngayon yung new equation 1. And then yung equation 2 natin magiging 33x plus 33y equal siya sa 600. 
60. Ito na ngayon yung new equation 2. Kung titignan nyo, meron na tayong makakancel yung 33x. Then solve natin, negative 154y plus 33y, the answer is negative 121y. Equals sa negative 1233 plus 660, the answer is 1573. Over negative 121. So, cancel na. Y is equals to negative 1573 divided by negative 121. The answer is 13. So, meron na tayong Y. Ngayon, ipalit natin siya sa equation 1. So, we have 3x plus 14y is equal to 203. 3x plus 14, yung y natin is 13, equals 203. 3x plus 14 times 13, that is 182, equals 203. Maiwan dito si 3x. Si 182, lilipat, magiging negative. 3x is equals to 203 minus 182. The answer is 21 divided by 3. x natin ay 7. So, ibig sabihin, ang sagot natin is 7 and 13. Ngayon, uh, i-check nyo pa. Kasi step 4 is look back, check and interpret. So, ito na yung pinaka-final answer natin. Kayo na yung mag-checking. So, yung pinaka-final natin is, uh, small box natin, ang price niya ay 7 pesos. And then, yung large box natin, that is 13 pesos. So, therefore, small box equals 7 pesos, large box is 13 pesos. Okay, ngayon, dito sa activity 5, page 21, uh, yung letter A tsaka letter B, sasagutan nyo siya. Ngayon, para hindi kayo mahirapan na, ibibigay ko na yung step 1 at tsaka yung step 2. Okay, sa letter A, for step 1, uh, let x the larger number and let y the smaller number. For step 2, ang equation 1 natin ay x plus y equals 90 and then x is equals to 3y plus 14. So, sa step 3, ang gamitin yung pagsusolve, step 3, ang gamitin nyo ay substitution method para mas madali. Okay, next for letter B. So, for step 1, let x the white chocolate. And then, let y, the dark chocolate. And then, step 2, ang equation natin, nalimutan ko lagyan ito ng equation 2. Equation 1 is, x plus y equals 15. And then, for equation 2, we have 20x, plus 25y equals 340. So, dito sa step 3 nito, ang gamitin nyo naman ay elimination method. Okay. So, yan na yung mga maitutulong ko sa inyo. So, what I have learned, page 22, put me in my right place. So, fill in the blanks. And then, sasagutan yung assessment pages 24 to 26.
、えー、寝ないように